Greetings and welcome. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is Mega. So we're gonna do, for those of you who maybe didn't see, hear from me yesterday or didn't see the post in, um, in Circle, we're gonna do a blend of yoga and let your yoga dance today. Let your yoga dance. And the thing that's amazing is Mega is the creator of Let Your Yoga Dance. So we are so incredibly lucky. I like to refer to her as my yoga mom. She says that she's okay with that. She has literally forgotten more yoga than I know. So <laughs> it's true because she was in charge of the yoga teacher training at Kripalu, which is the largest yoga community in the United States for years. She lived in the ashram at Kripalu for years. How long? How many years of experience? 12. I lived, she lived there for 12 years. She lived in the ashram for 12 years, but she was with Kripalu for 35. 35. So it's amazing. So you can come through. We had a we had a stray cat that was just, they, they knocked oh, on no, the door. It was Goldie. Oh, Goldie was out. Well, there you go. But our pets are in. So you know that when I'm at Cindy's house, I'm at Cindy's house right now. They're just, you know, we've got our menagerie who just kind of wanders around and it's good. All right, woo, woo. let your, look at that, love, let your yoga dance. She knows oh, you. Oh, Carla, hi. <laughs> this is Mega. She is the founder. So if you've ever done let your yoga dance with, a, you know, someone who's not Mega, she's the woman who created this. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't help but brag on you. So I am going to turn it over to Mega, and she's going to put in the earbuds. Just shove those puppies in your ears. Okay. There we go. So she's on camera so that you can, there we go. It's connected. So you're live. Okay. All right. Hi everyone. I'm so honored to be here um, with puppies and cats and new friends. Um, I just want to say briefly, we're going to start with yoga and a little qigong, which I, so I call, you know, Indian yoga and then Chinese yoga, blending very nicely. And then we'll move into a little more upbeat experience with Let Your Yoga Dance. And those of you who've never done this before, um, please know that, of course, you never have to do anything that I do if it feels uncomfortable, but I think you'll love the music. And uh, follow along if you like, but the words are let and your yoga dance. So if my yoga dance doesn't really work with you, then do what works for you. All right, so we're going to start now on the ground. And if the ground isn't so great, then just sit in a chair, okay? And uh, we'll see where we go. About half hour of yoga, half hour of let your yoga dance, and of course, a relaxation to end. All right, off we go. So let's begin honoring Mother Earth by bringing the tips of your fingers down to the ground. Gaya Mudra, and I know Laura has done mudras with you, so this is one of my favorite ones. And so just connect with Mother Earth and begin to circle around and around, feeling your lower body, your legs, your feet, your butt connecting with the ground. Now, how's your breath going? Take a nice deep breath in and out. And then go the other way. You might inhale through the nostrils and exhale through the mouth for a little while, expelling stale air from the bottom of the lungs. And then just bring your attention to your right side and do a clockwise rotation on the right butt cheek. We're getting ready for figure eights. All right, now go to the other side and on the left side do counterclockwise. And then we'll put them together into a figure eight. So we'll go to the right and the left making our DNA spiral. And breathe. 
And now we'll come into the first two movements of the spine. Imagine you're hugging a tree. Just contract through the belly a little and then press your heart into the tree. What kind of a tree is it? Exhale, round. And then inhale. And exhale. So as we press the chest forward, we're in extension. And then we round into flexion, the first two movements of the spine. One more. And then we'll do the third and fourth movements of the spine. Lateral flexion. And if you like, draw your hand up through the ribs as far up as feels comfortable. And if it feels really good, then just stretch your arm overhead. But it has to feel good. Couple more. Alright, now the fifth and sixth movements of the spine. Wiggle your sitting bones into the earth. Reach the arms out and then twist to your right as far as feels good. And then inhale, exhale to the left. And inhale. Fifth and sixth movements, we're rotating the spine now. And other side. And then reach the arms up. The mountain, seated mountain, the seventh movement of the spine where we just start to stretch one arm and then the other. Reach up to the highest mountain and breathe. And then open the arms wide, stretch the legs out and go for a walk on your ischial tuberosities, your sitting bones. And what do you want to reach for? Reach and reach and reach and then go backwards. Are you breathing? All right. Now, from here, we're going to bring the legs. If, if it's comfortable to sit cross-legged, great. If you're in a chair, fine. Or if that's not comfortable, just stretch a leg out. Make sure you're comfortable. We're going to do a little tapping on the lower body for a while, starting with your foot. Laura tells me you did some foot massage just yesterday. Mm -hmm. So now make sure that you're tapping your foot. If you can lift it up, great. If not, just keep it where it's comfortable. Pounding, pulling the toes apart, squeezing. That little noise you hear is Laura doing her foot right near me. Now, can you bring your fingers between your toes? Last night, Laura and Cindy and Burnett, who were all here, we all gave each other foot massages. It was heaven. This is one of the best things you can do because when you stimulate this area, all of the nerve endings of the feet get come to life. And then go up the legs. And now I'm going to ask you to do something very important now as we switch sides. We're going to, for the rest of the hour, practice the positive psychology character strength of gratitude. All right, there's much to be grateful for. We've gotten out of this winter, and the leaves and the beautiful flowers are blooming in most places. And do a special gratitude to your body. Look down and just say thank you. Thank you so much for getting me through this year. Wow. All right, now keep wiggling and stretch your right leg out to the side and flex the foot and then circle it around and around. And we'll reach the arms out to the side. If it feels good to raise your left arm up, feel free and just stretch over. And we're going to pulse here. And then inhale up, 
bring your left hand down, and if it feels good, push into the floor and lift your pelvis up, and then sweep the arm around and around. Ardha Mandalasana. Hopefully that feels good, and then slide your heel down. That's my favorite part right there. And then turn to face the leg, take a breath, and with a flat back, reach down. You don't have to go far. I'm just going down below my knee. You don't have to go to your toes. And then reach up and do it again. So we're stretching the back of your right leg and the spine. And then come up, reach the arms out, and just stretch whatever you see out in front of you. Just thank it. Part of your home, you might see a tree, and just say thank you. Gratitude is such an important practice. The research is out. Reach your arms up, stretch down, we're going to switch. The research is out. That gratitude practice is an amazing antidote to depression. Reach over to your left side and pulse. And inhale up. Bring the hand down and reach. And circle that left arm around. Ardha Mandalasana, the half circle pose. And then exhale down. And bring the legs. With the left leg stretching out, right and left arm stretching right out to the leg, and then reach toward it. Hands down and up. So this is just a little baby variation on Paschimottanasana, the forward fold. One more. And then when you come up, Reach your arms again, and now what are you looking at? It's something probably different. Might be a little painting on the wall. And just thank your house. And thank your left leg. All right, now come onto your hands and knees if that's comfortable. And remember, if it's not comfortable, don't go there. And do you like the down dog? I'm not staying here for long. Lift the butt up and walk your feet up towards your hands and then reach the arms out flat back. Come on up to standing, mountain pose. Take a deep breath in and then swan dive with a flat back only as far down as you wish to go. Might be just down to your thighs if you have a happy back all the way down. We'll do it twice more. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Deep breath in. And swan dive. And then come on back up. Inhale one more time to the mountain. And swan dive. Inhale up. And hands in prayer position. And we'll play with balance. Shiva. Shiva pose. Now, Shiva, the Shiva statue looks like this, right? That's the Shiva statue. And I'm going to ask you to do Jnana Mudra, thumb over index finger. Thumb represents universal consciousness, or Shiva. Index finger represents the ego, all right? Individual consciousness. So Shiva is on top, all right, like that, okay? So. Here we go, bring these Yana Mudra hands together, put your weight on your right foot, and then just lift a little bit, and if it doesn't work, just keep your foot down, that's fine, and then cross over, and then arms out. Ha! You can even say, Shiva! Shiva! <laughs> and then down. I usually don't have people doing this with me, I've forgotten, it's, it's been a year and a half since people have been live with me in a room. Inhale up. Crossover and Shiva and Shiva. Now, what is Shiva? Shiva is the dance of the cosmos, the cosmic dancer. It's also the energy of transformation and the destroyer of ignorance. All right, two more. 
One more. Good. All right. Now, we are going to enter into a salutation, not the sun salute, which is very famous in yoga. We're about to do the moon salutation. And this is something four of us created back in 1987 in our ashram because we wanted to bring the lunar energy rather than just the solar energy. And we wanted to also honor the divine sacred feminine. So this version is a gentle version of the moon salutation. Follow along with me if you wish. If there's anything I do that you don't like, then just shift it to suit yourself. Okay, so here we go. We'll do two rounds. Okay. Hands in prayer. Now, close your eyes for a moment and just take this time to think about your relationship with the moon. Okay. Do you know where she is in the sky? She was just full. And if you don't have a relationship with her, it's time to get one, okay? Because she, she takes care of all the ocean tides and the tides of our body. All right, here we go. Inhale and exhale. Lower your arms. Now create a full moon with your arms. If it feels good to interlace the fingers, great. Half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. The half moon. Chandra means moon. Inhale. Now, step out into five-pointed star. Goddess, Devi Asana. And star again. And now, turn your right foot out, left foot slightly indented. Reach over to your right side, just as far as is comfortable, and then allow your right arm to go down to touch whatever's available. Left arm up. And then inhale, turn your head to the right and bend your right knee into Virabhadrasana, the side warrior. Turn the palms up and dancing warrior. Inhale, back to side warrior, come back up. Five pointed star, goddess. Star. Let's do the same thing to the other side as we indent our right foot and turn the left foot out triangle reach over into the triangle and just pinwheel your arm just pinwheel so it might only go down to your thigh or your hip that's all good inhale up look over your left shoulder bend your left knee side warrior turn the palms up and dancing warrior Inhale, exhale, five-pointed star coming up, and goddess again, and star. And now we return to the mountain. Inhale, and remember, if it's too hard to have your arms up, keep them down. Exhale, half moon. And inhale, now make a huge full moon bringing the hands down to complete round one. Now we'll do this again and I'm not going to speak. Just enjoy the flow. Here we go.
Now bring your hands in prayer, close your eyes, and just take three deep breaths to receive your salutation to the moon. And think of the last time you saw the most gorgeous moon in the sky. Just remember that and see if every night you can make a commitment to look up and send gratitude to this divine, sacred, feminine energy. And now with that, spread the legs a little wider, reach the arms around you, interlace the fingers and press the knuckles down. Do you see how that pops open your heart? And you know what? This is so great for our posture. So anytime you go for a walk, every once in a while, just put your hands behind your back because it will not only open the heart, but keep the shoulders in the right place. And then let's see how far you feel comfortable going down into the standing yoga mudra. You might only want to go half an inch. Blood pressure issues or eye issues, please don't go below your heart. But if it feels good, do. And if your arms need a rest, you can just let them rest on your back. Do you know that this is the symbol of yoga? The standing yoga mudra. Stay as long as is comfortable for you. And then as you feel ready, come on back up. And we will let the arms float and feel how lovely it is to let those arms go. We're going right into Chinese yoga now for just a couple of minutes. And as we do this, remember that with Qigong, Chinese yoga, this is a full, lovely meditation in motion. You can't do this wrong. And let the breath be coordinated with the movement. So this is called flowing motion. We inhale the arms up and we exhale the arms down. And your arms might choose to do something a little different. Your arms might like to go out to the side and up, and then exhale down. So really, you have full permission to find your dance of Qigong right now, which doesn't have to look like me at all. You might reach one arm forward and the other back. Remember to coordinate the breath, however. So you inhale the arms up and exhale them down. Now, I'm going to ask you to turn away from the screen. You might look, if you have a window, I've got this gorgeous window here with trees, and it's so lovely to do yoga and qigong outside or at least watching something beautiful. You might have a plant that you could look at. And if not, do you have an animal that's in the room? So bring in Mother Earth right now. And I'm going to stop talking and just let you enjoy this little ride for a few moments of silence. If you're breathing through the mouth anywhere, either inhaling or exhaling, you might now switch over to nostril breath, which activates our relaxation response. And just do two more rounds. And you might bring your hands, your thumbs to your navel and index fingers touching. So we make a little diamond shape here. In the Qigong world, this is called the lower Dan Tian. There are three centers, the lower Dan Tian, and then the heart area, it's the middle, and then the upper Dan Tian reaches up towards the cosmos. Go back to the middle for a moment and then cross your arms over. I like to do this all the time during the COVID era. Feel your fingers reaching for your 
clavicle, your collarbone, and you see where your index and third fingers are touching? Use them as a guide and just drop the fingers about a quarter of an inch and they'll, you'll find a nice little nook there. In Qigong, Chinese medicine, this is called the lung two points. And the lungs hold grief as well as respiration. So they need to be attended to. So massage them in nice circular strokes. It should feel either good or it might feel a little sore. And if it feels sore, they're asking for more attention. Can you imagine what these lungs have gone through knowing what's going on in this world? So how nice to just take care of them and send gratitude to your lungs right now. A <sighs> couple of breaths. Now we're going to do one last thing in our yoga part, our Qigong yoga part, which is to shake out your hands. I'm going to teach you one more thing, which some of you may have done. It's called wave hands like clouds. Now, if you've never done Qigong, in the Qigong tradition, or Reiki too is another thing, we've got all of this energy right in the palm of our hands. And this is one way to access it. Shake, just shake out the hands. You might juggle some balls. You might play the piano. Are you breathing? Take nice deep gulps of air. And then this is another way, one hand up, one hand down, and make a fist and then flip it like a pancake. All right, these are just ways to access your chi your prana, same thing, energy. It's our vital life energy, which is all inside us. Okay, now we're going to create a little ball of energy. You can even close your eyes a moment. Now, some of you probably will feel a little something, maybe heat or tingling. Some of you, maybe not. And if not, then practice. You'll get it. You'll get it with practice. Now, some of you might even feel like, wow, I can go out here and feel it. In Qigong, this little ball of energy is called the Wuji, Wuji ball. And we're going to take this ball of energy and send it to different places. So with the hands about, oh, about three inches apart, and, and your stance is a little wide, reach your right hand out and your left arm in the other direction and look at your right hand. Now, draw your left arm and hand under to greet the hand, they're never touching, and then bring your left hand across your face without touching it, but you might feel the heat there, and turn your head in the direction of that left hand, and then draw your right arm underneath, and we switch very slowly. Now add the breath and we're waving hands like clouds. So what does that mean? So if we're waving hands like clouds and we are seeing these clouds right in front of our face, that must mean that we are way up in the highest mountains of Tibet where all these things were created. And we are seeing the world from a wholly different perspective, way up. We're the cloud people. And perhaps as we look down, we might realize that maybe some of our upsets aren't as important as we think they are. So wave your hands like clouds for another couple of minutes. I'm going to put on a chant for a bit that actually was the chant of my ashram. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, which means I bow to supreme bliss, joy. May my will align with spirit. So see if you can slow down your cloud hands and just enjoy this chant. And 
if anybody knows this chant, I invite you to sing it. systems that you don't need anymore. Send them out when your hands come down. Shake them towards the ground and the earth is going to eat all that unnecessary energy up and turn it into a garden. Let's do one more time. Sweep the arms down. Inhale up through the lower middle Dantian and raise the arms up to the sky. Where's your star? There it is. And it's coming down through your hands, through your body. What is no longer needed inside you? Let it go. It's gathering in your hands all the way down and then give it over to Mama Earth Gaia. She knows exactly what to do with it. Good. And then from there, just twist a little bit as we move into let your yoga dance. Do you need some water? Just get a little drink of water, keep yourself hydrated. And what we're going to do now is start moving through the room with yoga, actually. We're going to take eight steps and then we're going to freeze in a yoga pose. So Laura's been teaching you for like a year at least. So you've got lots of yoga poses at your beck and call. So when I say freeze after eight, you might freeze into any pose you want or you could make up a new one, okay? So I'm going to change the music now and it's going to be a little drum beat. All right, so here we go. Drum, drum, drum. I guess someone says that they loved your uh, I know, I saw that. <laughs> Thank you, I, I'm glad you like my outfit. <laughs> all right, now, so we go, can you all hear okay? Can you hear the music all right? I don't know, put a heart up or something. I, I can only see myself. <laughs> I hope you can hear it. I'll, put it I'll check, I'll check the comments. Okay, so we're going to take eight steps with a freeze, all right? So you can watch me if you want. So it'll look something like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and freeze. And you don't have to freeze like me, all right? And then we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and freeze. I got my Shiva pose back, and we have to hold it for eight. All right, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and freeze. And again. One, Now, I don't think this is a yoga pose, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm making up my own. All right, here we go. All right, I'm in the goddess now. All right, two more. And freeze. Last one. Okay. All right, good. Now, start shaking out. Synovial shaking is wonderful. And you can shake to the beat if you want. So we've got knuckles, 
We're getting all the joints. Synovial fluid needs to wrap around your joints. Knuckles, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Now keep that going, but then add, I'm sneaking a balancing pose on you, so you can add your left hip, knee, ankle, toes. And if that's too challenging, grab onto something so you can hold onto it. Nobody's allowed to get injured in my classes ever. Are you breathing? Let's try the other side. So shake it out. All right, now we're going to do the same walk for the count of four. All right, so four instead of eight. You ready? All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four. And freeze. And one, two, three, four. And freeze. And one, two, three, four. And freeze. Last one. Good. All right, so you've got lots of yoga poses. Um, for sake of time, I'm going to move us on now to a beautiful piece of music in the Let Your Yoga Dance tradition. And what did I say was our theme for today? Gratitude. All right, so this is a song about gratitude, and I'm bringing in American Sign Language, which I hope you enjoy. So the thing about American Sign Language is that interpreters are very still, right? They're just using their hands. We're going to use our body, and the whole thing is not completely um, American Sign Language. Some of it is what I call a mega move. So I will tell you which is which, because I don't want to insult the, the deaf community. <laughs> okay, so here we go, grateful. So just bring your hands up. And the thing is, with this song, you need to move your feet. All right, we're actually, we're in the heart chakra. The Let Your Yoga Dance tradition is all based in the chakras. And this is the fourth one, the heart. So here's gratitude, grateful. And Karen Drucker, my beloved friend and dear songstress, has this song going. It's just beautiful. So grateful, grateful. Now, this is probably the hardest part. Finger on the chin, fist up. Just go like this. That's the sign for promise. I promise. Okay. And then mega move is next in this moment. Okay, because I'm trying to make it easy, because signing is hard. So I promise in this moment, next is a mega move, to keep my heart wide open. Sign language, with every breath I take, isn't that great? Isn't that a great sign? With every breath I take, I'm grateful. That's it. That's all you need to learn. I'll do it one more time for you. I promise in this moment to keep my heart wide open. With every breath I take, I'm grateful. Now, sometimes you're gonna hear this, grateful, 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 over and over, but we'll go back to this. Okay, now, move your feet and dance around your space. Don't be shy to really just look where you are. You might have very little room, but I used to dance in a motor home. So if I can dance in a motor home, you can dance wherever you are. All right, so let's begin. And feel free, part of the Let Your Yoga Dance tradition is also to, wait a minute, hold on, there we go, is to sing. All right, so as soon as you get it, start singing. Here we go.
let's sing grateful with Karen. I am grateful. I am grateful. Use your voice. All right, here we go again. I am grateful. I promise in this world. I am ready to give my heart wide I am ready with every breath. I am grateful. I am ready. I promise in this world. I am ready to give my heart wide I am ready with every breath. I am ready. Now go around your space. You don't have to look into the camera. And keep singing. together in prayer and just give yourself a tap and we're going to do one last song before we relax because relaxing is always important so this song is really from the Native American tradition one of my let your yoga dance graduates Jody created this song taking that Native uh, American four directions so what we're going to do in this song is we're going to reach forward, and then we're going to step back, and then we're going to go down, and up, and to the side, and all around. All right, so here's the lyrics. It goes like this. Um, wait, let me, let, me, let me just put on the music. So, well, no, I don't have to. So it looks like this. Beauty before me. So when you say beauty before me, you are looking not just at Laura and me, but you're looking at the world around you beauty and, and being grateful for it. Beauty before me, beauty behind me. So we step back as far as is comfortable. Make sure there's nothing in the way. You don't want to be tripping on anything. Beauty to the left of me, beauty to the right of me. All right, so we go, and then we go down and up, and then we go, and beauty all around me, and then we make a big circle because it encircles me with love. So let's just do a dress rehearsal, okay? So this isn't the real thing yet, and this is the slow part. So we'll go very slowly. Let's see if I can, whoops, the same. Okay, hold on a second. Blink. Just give me uno segundo. Um, okay, lots of hearts. Beauty before me, where did my, my song just disappeared? Come on, song. Oh, she just went right off the screen. Let's see, where could she be? All right, I'd like you, while, while I find it, to practice, okay? Just practice. Maybe, Laura, you can mm -hmm. help yep. them out. Beauty, beauty. I'll get just to have to get the song back. Beauty before me. Beauty, and and there beauty behind me. Beauty. I, I thought there was, isn't there left, the, 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 beauty below me, beauty above me? Beauty, yep, yeah, indeed yeah, there, there is. Beauty, I might have made a mistake. And then, so, yeah, and then there's beauty, I don't know yeah. if there's... Beauty uh, beside me. Beauty, beauty beside, beside me, me. All around beauty me. Beauty beside me. Yes. And then beauty all okay, around me. Okay, here we go. I'm <laughs> sorry. Thank you, Laura. I, I need all the help I can get. Okay, so here we go. This is a dress rehearsal, slow, and then we'll speed it up. All right. There we go. Okay. Hands out. Sign language for love. All right, now we're going to speed it up. Are you ready? Sing. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Now just hold your hands here. Just hold your hands right there. All right, and just think of three things you are so grateful for that you just can't even believe it. Oh, by the way, don't put your hands like this. In American Sign Language, that does not mean love. <laughs> it means corpse. So, <laughs> so, so, and we are going to do the corpse pose, i.e. the final resting pose soon, but that's not cool. So make a fist. <laughs> this means I love you. All right, now if you've got a high critic going, and even if you don't, just close your eyes for a moment and think of three things that you are so grateful for about yourself that you haven't thought about in a while or maybe ever. Hmm. All right. Now just shake out one last time and I'm going to invite you to find a spot either, you know, if lying down on your space doesn't work for you, you can lie down on a couch. You can lie down if you're in your bedroom, you can lie down on your bed. Um, those of you who do choose the floor, if you'd like to put your legs up the wall, that's so great to bring that venous flow of energy back down from the extremities, which is awesome. Just get comfortable, just get comfortable. And it might be not on your back. Some people, it's not good to be on their back. You might wanna be on your side, you might wanna be on your belly in a frog. So go for what's really delicious for you as a brief relaxation. And I'm going to lead you as I think Laura has already done this year in the koshas. The koshas are, the yogis are so wise and they knew ages ago that we have five layers of our multidimensional self. Five. not just the stinking head, which we do in this nutty country of ours. Um, it's actually, we have our body, the layer of the body, the physical. We have the breath, the layer of prana. We have the heart and mind. We have our witness self, the vijnana maya kosha. And we have bliss. Our birthright is bliss. So let's remember to acknowledge all those parts of us as we now take rest and go into them, starting with the body. So as you start taking rest, notice your physical self. What is touching the earth? What is touching your chair or your couch or your bed? Acknowledge this earth beneath you and this physical self known in the yoga tradition as the food sheath, the layer, kosha, layer, the physical self, bones and muscles, ligaments, cells, And then breathe deeply and notice the prana maya kosha. Prana, your life force, the second layer of your multidimensional self. Breathing in. Breathing out, imagine an ocean wave going into shore and then returning out to sea. The waves of the breath. And as you rest, consider your third layer 
of your multi-dimensional self. The Mano Maya Kosha, heart and mind. Imagine with each breath, your heart opening more and more to receive itself and the heart sending compassion to this whole world. And still there is more to your multidimensional self, your Vinyana Maya Kosha, the fourth layer, your witness, this dispassionate, compassionate presence, seeing all of you with care, with grace. Vinyana Maya Kosha. And finally, the fifth layer. The yogis knew that we have within us, our birthright is bliss. Bliss. Ananda, bliss. Ananda, maya kosha. Give yourself permission, even in the hardest times, to look around this world at something beautiful and be grateful for it and find your bliss. And let all these koshas for the next minute or so just wrap themselves around you like a beautiful, lovely, velvety blanket of grace. Take three more breaths now. Breathing into your physical Anamaya Kosha, the body, and let the Prana Maya Kosha breathe you. And breathe into your heart and mind, the Manomaya Kosha, active. And with the next breath, acknowledge your Vinyana Maya Kosha, your very own witness self, there for you always. And finally, breathe into bliss, ananda, maya kosha. And if it feels good, if you're lying in such a way that you could reach your arms up, feel them stretching. If your legs are up the wall, you can slowly begin to bring them down. And if lying down, bend the knees and slowly make your way, very slowly, over onto your side. Please refrain from being a jack-in-the-box, returning to sitting. Be slow. The pace of the body is slow. The pace of the breath 
is slow. The pace of life is slow. And when you feel ready to find your way back to a comfortable seated position, feel free to do so. Hopefully the spine elegant, long, yet relaxed. I like to sometimes take my finger and just push the chin a little bit back to lengthen the cervical spine, the back of the neck. And you might like to come back to Jnana Mudra, thumb underneath the index fingers, all the other fingers extended, face up in your lap. And just reflect for a moment on where we've been with yoga, qigong, little positive psychology, the practice of gratitude, and let your yoga dance. Notice how your body feels. And we'll conclude the practice with the OM sound. We'll chant it three times and let the first OM be a gratitude for you and your life, the great blessing we have to be alive. The second gratitude for one another here and your family and all beings. And then the third to Mother Earth herself. So first, own sound. Take a nice deep breath in. Here we go. Acknowledge yourself with the words Namaste. I bow to my indwelling spirit. You could also say Hakuna Matata. Fewer worries, be happier. And then I know you can't see each other, but open your eyes anyway and just who's ever on this call, you can send a Namaste to each other. And thank you so much for letting me take over Laura's class for this morning. <laughs> Lots of love showering down on Vega. Isn't she awesome?